because we have a very serious problem. We've been taking too much money in prizes from these poor contestants. No, 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 no. no. I'm getting nothing but complaints. Our bank accounts are stuffed and our warehouses are full of prizes. Any suggestions? Beer warehouses! You guys are going crazy. Taking all that money. Running around with those big prizes. Dancing. Singing. Making fun of everybody. And I hate to say it, oh, do I, but some of you boys are going to have to go. Oh, no. No. no! Wait a minute, wait a minute, I mean go on vacation! Vacation, yippee! On your mark. Get set. Go! Get that stuff down there and oh, set so me. Oh, these two teams are taking a zesty journey to a very unique leaning power of pizzas. Whichever team walks on the sauce fastest and builds a stack of leaning pies first, grabs the lead with 20 bucks. And control of the sauciest game in America. Twenty dollars. This woman play some super sloppy double dare. It's super sloppy double dare. And here's your super sloppy double dare host, the preeminent pizza man who's never late with a delivery, Mark Summers. That's me. Hi. Welcome to Super Sloppy Double Dare. It's the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes. To start off, I'd like to show you the tie. It was requested number two. Here we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Take a look. We love it. Uh, gee, we have a, a special show today. Those of you who are lucky enough to get Nickelodeon at home know of a show called Don't Just Sit There. Well, we have uh, three of the members of that particular program and a special gentleman as well. We'll meet him to my right. They call themselves the Puss Monkeys, Jerry and Allie. <laughs> Now, Jerry uh, is all grown up. You probably saw a movie called Stand By Me, and it's one of my favorites, and I'm sure one of yours. And you played uh, what character in that? I played Vern Cassio. And you have, uh, how long did it take to make that movie, first of all? Uh, it took three months. All right, and you have a new series on called? My Secret Identity. And you play what in that? I play a super kid with superpowers. Very nice. All right, and your uh, partner is a lady I happen to know for a long time, and her name is Allie. Now, Allie, how did you get the job on Don't Just Sit There? Well, a long, long time ago, I auditioned for the pilot of this show. Uh-huh. And um, I did that. It was a different name. I won't say that. And, um, and they just called me back and asked me to do this. And have, it's really you always fun. wanted to be on television? I always wanted to be on television. And here you are. Yeah. Yes. I'm Double Dare, my favorite other show. <laughs> I see. Boy, is she diplomatic. All right, they have $20. And a team to my left, they call themselves the Horrid Slug Burgers, Matt and Wendy. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> Now, Matt's got lots of money because he has this commercial about uh, milk uh, running. And, uh, Matt I don't know has if we're supposed to mention that, Mark. Pardon me? I don't know if we're supposed to mention it. Not, not supposed to mention that you have the milk thing? Why, is that not in your contract? You can't do that? No, I don't, know. I don't you know. You can do that. <laughs> Say, so you want to be, you want to be Mark Summers? Yeah, when, when I grow up, I want to be Mark Summers, but taller. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's easy. And Wendy... Listen to this, Harvey. Wants to be Harvey, but without so much body hair. Look at that. Right. <laughs> I've always wanted to be Harvey, definitely. You I really want to be Harvey, huh? Yep. Okay. So you Boy. better watch out, Mark. When you, in a couple of years, we might be taking yeah, over. Yeah, you too, Harvey. We hope these kids <laughs> had bigger aspirations than this, Harvey, but <laughs> here they are. Let's talk higher, kids. You gotta shoot higher. <laughs> That's right. Welcome uh, to Super Sloppy Double Dare, and uh, let's talk about the rules where daring for dollars will double your bucks, and here's how it works. I'm going to be asking you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for how much, Harvey? Uh, four times the amount. That's right, and then you'd have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Now, I'm assuming you folks are playing for some charity today or something? I Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots. Toys for tots. That's so me. everybody, both sides, Mr. Klinghoffer, sir? That's it. Okay. All the dollars, everything. Boy, they don't tell me these things. All right, $20 <laughs> over here for the Puss Monkeys. Mark, and this, They yeah. told us that the winner gets the tie, though. Gets the tie? Okay, yeah, you can have the tie. The winner gets the tie as well. <laughs> Here's a $10 question. What recent movie featured a ghoul who claimed to be a bio-exterminator? Would bring you to 30 or you could dare them. Dare. Oh, really? Isn't this interesting? $20 question. Uh, what recent movie featured a ghoul who claimed to be a bio-exterminator? You could tie the game or you could double-dare them back. And it's a really sloppy challenge, so you might really want to see that. Double-dare. Oh, worth 40? We're going to take a really sloppy physical challenge. Okay, physical challenge. Uh, it is a Beetlejuice, and we have a great physical challenge right down over here for Jerry and Allie. Come down here if you would, please. You were really nice to put me on your show not long ago. Harvey and I were both on, and I just would like to repay that favor. Does that sound good? 
Sounds great. And, you know, I don't really know Jerry that well, and I just want to get him used to Super Sloppy, so if you could both have a seat over on this side and take off your shoes and socks, because inside these boots, there are bananas. There are actually three bananas. They look something like this, holy... Hopefully not uh, as gacked up as this one is already. This is pretty bruised. When I say go, stick your feet into those uh, boots. Some of them have whipped cream. Some have chocolate pudding. Some have beans. You need to find three bananas. Now, I must tell you, it's going to be a little yucky, but you must stick your foot all the way down to feel that banana. Now, as soon as you feel that banana, take your foot out, reach down with your hand, and pull it out. If you have three bananas sitting right here at the end of 30 seconds, I'm going to give you $40. You're happy about this, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, I could just tell. Oh, boy, this run smells wonderful, too. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, three bananas. On your mark, get set, go. Stick your feet all the way down there, pull it up with your hands. You may have to pull it up with your hands. If you find it, pull it over here. Pull it all the way up. Try and find those three bananas. As soon as you need that, pull it out. And we will give you 40 additional dollars. All that jack is just coming out of the way. It's going to be 16 seconds. And so far, I don't see any bananas over here. Where could they be? I don't know. Hi there, that shot is guaranteed to make you sick, isn't it? How do they do that? It was sort of tipped sideways. Welcome back. It's round one on Super Sloppy Double Dare, and we found out that the, the lovely Jerry and the uh, beautiful Allie tried to put their feet in boots and find bananas. They were unsuccessful. The money went to Matt and Wendy, and they have control of this $10 question. Mike TV, Baruch Salt, and Violet Beauregard. They all toured a candy factory in what children's movie? Bring it to 50 or you could dare them. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Boy, that's too bad that it's wrong. It's actually Willy Wonka and the, the uh, Chocolate Factory. You're batting what? a thousand, though, Matt. And, I knew uh, that. <laughs> no, oh. no dare at stake, no money-changing place. Pardon me? Yeah, the book was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It, yeah, the and book the Willy in the movie. Are we calling that correct? Oh, he got it. Give him $10. Son of a gun. Okay, a round of applause. We have a producer on the floor who makes those decisions. It wasn't me, folks. I just read the cards. Okay. <laughs> what U2 album has the same name as a United States national monument? Are you up to 60 or you could dare them? Dare. dare. All right. Now we're 20. What U2 album has the same name as a U.S. national monument? Double dare. Now worth 40. We're going to take. You should have waited. I think Jerry knew. Uh, do you want to take a physical challenge? Yeah, physical yeah. challenge. A Joshua tree, and we have a $40 physical challenge right down over here. You know, I really like you, Wendy. I really. Oh, I'm so glad about that. And I really like you. But since you want to be like me, I want to show you what you have to do in order to become a game show host. You must experience everything, Matt. So I'd like you to lay down on this, if you would, with your head down here and your feet down in that direction. But over here, down this way. Good. He's going to spin up spells right in there. First thing you have to do is follow instructions, Matt. Okay. <laughs> lay down like that. Have you ever had pigs in a blanket? Actually, I have. Oh, yeah. well, we're going to make this a human pig in a blanket experience because Matt is going to be the hot dog. And when I say go, what I want you to do is pick up this mustard and pour it all over Matt, okay? Then you pick up this ketchup and you pour it all over Matt. And then you must roll him up. So he'll spin as you pick this up and roll him up. And as you end up over underneath this area right here, we have tons of relish up here. And when you pull on this, the relish will get all over the pig in the blanket. And if you can do all that in 20 seconds or less, I'm going to give you $40. That sounds good to you, I bet, doesn't it? Wonderful. Oh, good. No, not just yet. I've got to say, uh, gotta say go and all that, so you've got to get away from there. Okay, good. That's all right. No problem. You can do that. I sounded a lot like Bark Barker when I was just doing this, didn't I? And now we've got to... Okay, anyway. On your mark. Get set. Go! Okay, now the ketchup. Now the ketchup. Okay, here's the ketchup. We're down to 15 seconds. Up if you can, and uh, 
Well, I must tell you, Wendy, you got to eat your Wheaties, you know? you got to pull on that thing. Yes. We have kids half your size, half your age pulling on that. And, it, uh, was you heavy. Have, it, it was heavy. It was heavy. Well, we wanted to make sure that Matt got hit enough there. Okay, we have another question. This is worth uh, $10. Spelunking. It's the sport of what? Exploring caves, exploring mountains, or exploring Tina Yethers? What, what was the question? <laughs> uh, spelunking. It's the sport of either exploring caves, exploring mountains, or exploring Tina Yethers. Bring up to 100 or you could dare them. Mountains? Mountains is incorrect. It's uh, caves. Sorry. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control back to Jerry and Andy. Well, that sound means it's the end of round one with $90. The horror story. We're going to have lots of time. Welcome back to round two on Super Sloppy Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And if perchance you hear this sound right here, that means the game is over. Okay, time to explain this physical challenge, and it goes something like this. Okay, you dirty rat. Down here we have dirty rats. Ooh, mm, mm, you were the dirty rat. And when I say go, come on, Aldo, follow me up now. Come on, take a shot of the rat right there. Can we get that? Oh, goody. Hi there. And then we're going to take the rat, follow me slowly down in over here. We're going to dip it right in there into the cheese whiz. And then we're going to toss it up, Aldo, just like this. And we're going to toss it just like this. Long. And if you get two rats up there in uh, no time at all, we're going to give you $40. On your mark. Get set. Go! Toss them up there. First team to get two of the rats stuck up there. here today on Super Sloppy Double Dare. It's the lovely Aldo, who I was messing up earlier on a camera, and I just wanted to make sure he got those shots. Okay, Jerry and Allie have $60 in control of this $20 question. On the Hogan family, what's the last name of the Hogan's next door neighbor? Bring it up to 80. Pool? Yes, you're right. You now have $80. Good job. And guess what? Jerry and Allie can take the lead on this next question. Doodly doodly doo doo doo. What's the name of the device used for detecting and measuring radioactivity in mineral deposits? Bring it to $100, or you could dare the horrid slug burger. Dare. Ooh, now worth 40. Bring it to 130. The name of the device used for detecting and measuring radioactivity in mineral deposits, or you could double dare them back. Double, double dare. dare. Worth 80. We're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's a Geiger counter, and we have an $80 physical challenge. Step down here, if you would, please. Gary and Allie. Oh, well, Allie, Jerry's our guest, right? Yeah. And we have to treat guests very nice, don't we? Yeah. So why don't we put the birds over here with you, and I'm going to make Jerry a, a horticulturist of sorts with birds. What do they call a person who looks for birds? Bird a bird watcher. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, that's Phil. Okay, what you must do is take this hose, and when we say go, you must try and shirt, uh, shirt those birdies. Shirt those birdies, youngster. Shoot those birdies <laughs> right off there, and if you can knock five of those birdies off in 20 seconds or less, I'm going to give you $80. That would give you a pretty big lead. Otherwise, it's going to go to the other side. You look wonderful. Okay, actually, you get to move just one step above this line. Right over there. You can, your hat, that's all right. We'll just do it like that. They'll never know the difference, Sally. All right, five birds in uh, 20 seconds gives you $80. On your mark, get set, go. Spray that over there. Now there's one. There's two. There's three. Keep going with that. There's four. One, five, 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 With 13 seconds remaining, and he's still spraying her. Why not? Let's move over here. They have $160. And the pus monkeys have come from behind. They have $160 in control of this question. Name the only American elected president of the U.S. four times. The only American oh. elected president of the U.S. four times. Bring it to 180, or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $40. Do you know the only American elected president four times? <laughs> Double dare. Now worth 80, or another physical challenge. Theodore Roosevelt? Theodore Roosevelt is incorrect. It's Franklin Delano oh. Roosevelt. $80 goes over here to this side of the board, brings you up to $170 and a $10 lead. Okay, Matt and Wendy. What is Wallagaloo? Is it baby talk for daddy give me money? Is it a drum-like instrument? Or is it a town in Wyoming? 
They bring you to 190, Wallagaloo. Town of Wyoming? Is incorrect. It's a drum-like instrument. No Darren Stake, no money-changing place. You could take the lead on this next question. Listen closely. In Roman numerals, L plus L equals what? Dare. Now worth $40. In Roman numerals, L plus L equals what? Or you could double dare them back. Um, a million. Oh, no, it's no C. Idea. We were looking for the letter C. Oh, C. $40 goes over here. You have taken the lead this time around. $200 now for Jerry and Allie. The lead keeps switching, and here is another $20 question. On what part of your anatomy would you wear something called a chapeau? Oh, your head. Oh, your head is right. And that's a hat, and you now have $220, and you have a $50 lead. Tell me, Jerry and Allie, what are medusins, mes mesclinites, and polarians? Are they types of cockroaches, lakes in Brazil, or aliens from science fiction stories? Dare. Now worth 40 would bring you to 210. Medusins, mesclinites, and polarians, are they types of cockroaches, lakes in Brazil, or aliens from science fiction stories? Be a very tight game, or you could double dare them back. Cockroaches? Is incorrect. It's aliens. $40 over here. You're now up to $260. And that sound means at the end of the game with $260, the Puss Monkeys have won today's game. A uh, super sloppy double there. But you know, there are no losers. We are running for charity. All this money goes to charity. And we're going to find out how well we're doing Double Dare, $430 currently going for Toys for Tots, and you're going to run all eight obstacles, the four of you, and if you get all these toys, they're going to go to Toys for Tots, right? Yep. You get to start off on number one. This will be fun. This is called the gumball machine. You'll be all the way on top, and you'll slide on down. It swallows you alive. It's wonderful. You come out over here, you will pass that flag, and what's the first prize for Toys for Tots, Harvey? Mark, it's a collection of watches from Casio, featuring the DW5200 G-Shock watch. This 200-meter water-resistant diver's watch is also shockproof. Perfect for the great outdoors from Casio. Jerry, you get obstacle number two. This is the big burger. You will come up these french fry steps and tear the top of that hamburger off. The bun will go flying. There is a flag somewhere under there. If you find it, you pass it, and you win what? Mead high-resolution binoculars with multicolored optics for the brightest, sharpest images obtainable. Precision optics from the leader by Mead Instruments. It's really a shame how clean you are because when you get done with number three, you are going to be so gacked up, you won't believe it. You have to crawl all the way through number one all the way through two and through three. You will grab that flag. You will pass it to Matt. But before that happens, let's find out what the prize is. It's the Rico YF-20, a lightweight 35 millimeter camera with heavy on features. They include auto-focusing, film advance, and rewinding, the point and shoot, simplicity. going to be me. That's not bad. That's a stance I often take, Matt. Very nice. Now, this is a tough one. It looks easy. You have to find the right balloon with the flag in it, pop it any way that you know how, and then you pass it to obstacle number five. And let's find out this prize. It's Magnum Mountain Bikes. More power to climb and to accelerate Magna, the hot new name on the streets, distributed by Dynacraft Industries, Incorporated. We have somebody who's with us. They haven't been with us in a long time, and it's... Raymond's coming up, Rose. Little Richard, how are you, Little Richard? Shut up! Okay, and, and this is Ethel Merman. I'm fine. Yes, okay. It's getting too weird here. Number five, I saw a guy look just like you over on the other obstacle. You have to go all the way across the suspension bridge. You have to grab that flag. And what's the next prize, Harvey? It's from Cassie on the TV 500. Any color television, it's right in the middle of your hand. Battery up, it's in shape. Matt, you've got to go to the big kahuna up here quickly and down into this uh, creature where the Black Lagoon is often, uh, ooh, sitting. Ooh, this is disgusting down here. You will end up over there. You'll grab that flag. You'll pass it. And Harvey, what do they win now? Smith Corona's easy to use XD5500 memory typewriter the 50,000 word dictionary, liquid crystal display, and correcting cassette, American made by Smith Corona. This one's called Easy Money. In there are the accountants trying to decide if we can do another season of Double Dare. And what you must do is go inside there, <laughs> grab that flag, come out the other side, and uh, Harvey, tell them what the next prize is. It's the Zenith VCR. It's easy Maze, get down on your hands and knees and crawl all the way through if you can have your hands on that flag in 60 seconds or less. Harvey, tell them what the grand prize is. It's a mighty mini racing car. Get ready for fuel driving. I'm saying the durable safe and fun to drive. The 
ultimate driving machine that takes go-karting into the 21st century. Thunder wheels, all these great cars are going to Toys for Tots, and if they do it all, for super sloppy double dare. We're all set. Here's the wide, pretty shot, and we have 60 seconds on the clock. Allie is waiting. I'll put the nickel in, and Jerry will get that flag. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark, get set, and go! the juice. This is your announcement. Why do you say you're back in the next time? Everybody ready? May the best words win. That is a nice word. Here's the question. The ozone layer? The bookie. Picasso? It all comes down to this. Woo! Yeah! Well played. Now we have a game. You did it! How does that sound? Darn good. Scrabble and Trivial Pursuit. Game night begins Thursday, October 3rd on The CW. I'm the master of time.